Hello, my gorgeous gastronomes and vampires. Welcome to T-Rex Steel City Mukbang. Where will this food journey take you today? Pull up a seat. Let's eat. Hey, guys, what's happening today? First, I want to thank all my subscribers, old and new. I love you guys. And to those of you who have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. All right, guys, today, one of my favorite soups, stuffed pepper soup. Stuffed pepper soup. <sighs> Anytime I would see this on any menu, anywhere, cafeterias at work, whatever, I had to get it. But this one's homemade, and the recipe has dropped on the blog. Link in the description box. Link in the bio if you're here from TikTok. Mm. That's some crackers. This is the perfect day for soup. It's chilly outside. This is a soup day. So what I have for you today is really not current events, but it is a, a topic. It's like, when I tell you this, I want to I wanna know what you would have done or what you would do. Mm. Lime bubbly, sparkling. These are wheat crackers. Whole wheat. So, mm, I was watching, notice I said was watching, because <laughs> I stopped watching. I was watching the series on Netflix called Devil in Ohio. I only made it to episode two, season one. <laughs> and I don't think I finished all that. But here's the thing. The doctor, um, she's a psychiatrist or psychologist, one of those. She gets assigned to this young teenage girl with some family problems, mental problems. She's disoriented. She's hurt. They found her wandering in the woods. So this doctor gets assigned to her. Oh, this is unrealistic because when it's time for the girl to get out of the hospital, she doesn't have anywhere to go. She doesn't have... Her family is who she was running from. That's why she couldn't go back there. She has nowhere to go. She's homeless. So the doctor takes her in. Takes her home. I don't think that would happen in real life. I don't know. You'd have to go through some... Some major court stuff, I would think. You know, you can't... The doctor just discharges her and, and takes her home. <laughs> but... Anyway, doctor introduces her to her whole family, you know, son, her daughter. I think she had three kids already. So she's just staying overnight because they're going to find her foster care. So... It ends up taking a little longer than normal, but let me get to what the question is here. The first meal together, the family, they all sit down to eat with the with the new girl. And they get ready to eat. Nobody says uh, grace. And the girl says, oh, can I say, you know, can we say grace? 
And the young daughter of the family says, well, we don't usually say grace. But yeah, you know, feel free. Go right ahead. You can say grace. So the girl bows her head. Family, they all bow their heads. And she starts praying. Here's the kicker. She starts praying a thank you to the Prince of Darkness. And the family, they all, they're like, they don't know what to say or do. Now, my question for you is, <laughs> you brought this young teenage girl home with nowhere to go. And she prays to the devil over your food. <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> Throw her out right there? Like, hey, give me that plate back. <laughs> give me that plate. Get out. <laughs> what would you do? You were bowing your head and praying, and she's praying to Satan. You've already committed yourself to this little girl. Teenager. I think she's about 15, maybe. So, a little girl to any adult, you know. I can tell you what I would do. She would have had to go right then and there. <laughs> right then and there. Um, baby, listen. I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you a paper plate and some aluminum foil. Wrap that up. You got to go. You got to go now. I'd help her, you know, I'd run her down to CYS like now, because, you know, they, they haven't taken all hours, it doesn't matter, <laughs> it doesn't matter, I'm not that attached to you, I just was, you know, I was your doctor for a couple of days while you were in the hospital, so no, let's go, <laughs> what would you guys have done? A lot of people, this is going off on a different part now. A lot of people think I don't say grace over my food just because they don't see it on camera. Expand your mind a little. I like to use that time. That's my free time with God. You know what I mean? That's my, my personal free time. I don't feel like I need to say grace on camera. If you do, that's fine. That's what you do. That's your thing, and there's nothing wrong with that. I just know what my time before a meal is, is for. And it's not... Not to be filmed. That's just for anyone out there that was thinking, well, you don't say grace over your meals, so what does it matter if she was praying to the devil? You know, I know somebody's mind went there. I know somebody's mind did. I know how trolls operate. I know. So I just hit him off at the pass. Should we had to go. Mm. This is so good. And I could eat this whole package of crackers, but I won't. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. 
I was torn between Taco Tuesday and stuffed, stuffed pepper soup. If I had done Taco Tuesday, I was going to have to go to the store. I needed two things. I needed some sour cream and I needed some taco sauce. Oh, three things. Taco sauce, sour cream, and sprinkled cheese. Shredded. You know what I mean. And I was just not in the mood to go out at all today. I didn't go to the gym. My back has been acting crazy the last few days. I mean, it hurts all the time. But these last couple of days was just extra. <laughs> Over the top. But I didn't want to go to the store. I'm going to take what I got right here. And turn it into some fabulous soup. Mm-hmm. Guys, you gotta go to the blog. You gotta try it. It's so quick and easy. It really is. I got on my pink again. Breast Cancer Awareness. This is the month. Don't forget. Schedule your mammogram. Well, guys. I think I'm good here. So, peace out, my gastronomes and vampires. I will see you soon.